Oral agreements are often codified in written contracts. Ideally, a written contract will fully and accurately reflect the oral agreement that it's based on. But if a contract doesn't include everything that the parties discussed, then a party might seek equitable relief in court to make the party's original intentions enforceable. In Bollinger v. Central Pennsylvania Quarry Stripping and Construction Company, we explore the equitable contract remedy of reformation. The Central Pennsylvania Quarry Stripping and Construction Company, which we'll call Central, was doing construction on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Nearby landowners, Malin and Vanetta Bollinger, agreed to allow the company to dispose of construction waste on their property. According to the Bollingers, the parties orally agreed that Central would bury the waste by digging up the land's topsoil, depositing the waste, and restoring the topsoil to its original location. The parties codified their agreement in a written contract. The Bollingers didn't read the written contract and erroneously assumed that it included all of the parties' oral agreements. Although Central did initially bury waste deposited on the Bollingers' land, it later started depositing waste, but without burying it. When the Bollingers protested, Central informed them that the party's written contract didn't require the company to bury waste deposits. The Bollingers sued Central, asking the court to reform, or effectively rewrite, the contract to include a waste burial term that was allegedly omitted by mutual mistake. They also sought enforcement of the contract as reformed. As evidence of the party's original intentions, the Bollingers showed that Central did initially bury its waste deposits and that the company was also routinely burying waste deposits made on a neighbor's property. The trial court found in favor of the Bollingers. Central appealed to the Pennsylvania Supreme Court.